Okay. Here we go. Hopefully, this is working. Uh, last time, I recorded everything in the past so far in one session. So this is going to be all new. I reading some reviews and stuff and it sounds like it's actually going to be a horror game. I I don't believe them. I don't believe it. It's just so far it sounds like it's like what like what's going to happen? I I don't know. So either you're not hungry or an excuse to take a walk. Or you plan to conven conveniently forget that you spent all your money. So that I would lend you some. But there's, there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that leaves the one option. Uh, I give up. Hope you feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Ah ha ha. You already said on the giggles. Uh... I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is... in her book as always. Ah. Uh, I wasn't... listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri. Tell Brandon to, to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get involved like... that sort of... Besides, she only... Buy what you can re responsibly afford. I can read now. I still can't read. We didn't have M&Ms the day after Halloween. Hmm. Upload part one on Halloween, so. Oh, I'm unviewed it. Got one view. That's pretty good. Uh. Did I just... I didn't mean that. I got totally absorbed in my book. Ha ha ha. I don't really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. That doesn't happen much, but there's this fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You're right, though. I did something bad in Octus. Accept the revolution. Rep repetition. That... Still coming from you, Yari. I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? Hee hee hee. Don't let her fool you. So Arky knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys that she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But... You wouldn't have come if I... If it weren't for the cupcakes. Do I trick Natsuki into making them? Come on, give me more credit than that, Saraki. Eeeh. Hee hee. Slap. What the frick? That's just... Okay. Out of nowhere, something smacks Sarki in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow. Was that... What <laughs> was... A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. I thought I slapped her or something. <laughs> And like Yuri over there, just like looking like all smirk like, like, mm hmm. Sorry, glancing around. Is this a miracle? Because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Oh, I, okay, now I'm actually sounding exactly like that. Actually, the, that one almost worked. Ah ha 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 ha. I was just gonna give it to you. Then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It's totally worth seeing your reaction though. Ha ha ha. Not you, keep. That's so nice of you. I'm so happy that I got slapped in the face with a cookie. <laughs> Sorry, hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sorry, rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Mmm. Sorry, suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Ah ha ha. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Nasuki takes a bite of her own cookie. 
Uh, yours looks really good too, that's key. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why did you think I'd give you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you just shared this one with me. Sorry, gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and wraps her arms behind around her. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, gee, Riz. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to Nug. Sorry, off of her. Oh, sorry, someone leans down to take a bite of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, you just do that. Uh-huh. Mouthful. Sorry, dropped away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell a story? Uh, Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Uh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't heard. I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. Probably just had something to do today. Pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... Ah, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Eh, uh, that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I just hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Uh, Nanaka chooses the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed boyfriend. I wonder what were you guys talking about? Nanaka quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh... My last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just locked track of time. Ah ha ha ha. That makes no sense though. You, you would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay. That sounds cool. But I look forward to it. Is that so? But in that case, I would let... I won't let you down, Brendan. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah... I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Don't worry. Ah, I've been practicing a whole lot recently. I really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. You know, thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose to leave Sora as mischievous. Uh, there's more big words. Escapadate. Yes. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Not Star is somewhere and already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back at her book and Natsuki des disappeared into the closet. Brendan? Brendan. Okay. Whoa. Man, this game's a mouthful. Sorry, suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna get some supplies from another classroom. Want to come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know, about the festival is coming up. Me and Monica are gonna make some posters and stuff. So I need to find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay. Okay, Monica, I'll be back soon. Are you going with Brendan to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'll be happy to go with him. Ah, uh, but I wanted to go. So much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. Yeah, okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See if you find poster paper too, okay? Okay. 
Ready, Brendan? Yep, let's go. Better than reading books. So what's that? What was that? Sir and I exit the club room. I follow behind us. There are hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly. I feel like I'm talking to a kid at the mall or something. Sorry. Finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Hey, sorry. What exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sh sure how we'd make an event out of lit literature. E he. I. Why does it start with E? E he. Not like he he he. Me and Monica had it all planned out. Don't you worry. <laughs> Is that so? Yep, we're doing. We do a poetry performance. A performance of what kind? Well, everyone is going to take turns on stage and re recite their favorite poems. Ah, that sounds kind of dull. Brendan, <laughs> you're not thinking about it right, right at all. Not just about reading poems, it's about performing them. Like, you say the lines of the poem, like, between my feet, it's the last flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from the clinging roots. Carousin the final joyous moments between my fingertips, but to what I have summoned this joy, for now I look in every direction, the one phosphorus revealed before me, but it was but the barren lace land. Like that. Sorry. How do I put this? <sighs> I'm not sure if it's just me, but it's impossible. Oh, good night. Love you. Okay. Not sure it's me, but it's possible to talk to you seriously when you talk like that. E Beanie. Work super hard on this, you know. I know, I know. Just meant it's pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. Ah, don't say it like that, it's embarrassing. But I guess it's me, I'm doing a good job. I guess so. Oh, I'm so excited. Festival's gonna be so much fun. Sorry, it spins around in the hallway again. Hey, Brandon, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. The mission? Uh, it's been a long time since I spent time with Sora like this. Sorry. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's... Nothing but a ball of sunshine. Dra drawing happiness vibe from the world around her. Pretty nostalgic feeling for me. The years went by, I began to hold myself up in a room more and more. So going adventure in with Sarah begins a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. <sighs> Two of us enter the club classroom. Sorry, head straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons? Ah, I was hoping you'd say dead body. That would have been so much more exciting. <laughs> They're doing like a really happy vibe and everything. And I, I feel like it's going to be like something like really dark reason I cause that's what this is what the reviews like it says it's like horror like psychological horror sort of pulls a box of crayons off the shelf they're the best brand too they're kind of dirty though sure it starts pulling various crayons off the box reading the color names all right one down don't get distracted we still need to find wait I'm looking for my favorite color Fine, fine. Then at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, I dropped one by accident. Smack. Cat. Bends over and, and smacks it forward right into the shelf. God, I thought I hit her again. I, I it seems like a cat. <laughs> like, whoops. This, this is just the story of how I was actually in a, an abusive relationship. <laughs> Saws on the floor and crayons spill all over her lap. Ow, wow, 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 wow. wow. You okay? My forehead clutches her forehead. Geez, sorry. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sora is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. You have to move your hand, Sora, but it hurts. Just do it for a second. Oh, God. Why is there... What the frick? 
<laughs> so it slowly releases a hand from my forehead. I'll just move this mouse. I gently brush her bangs to the side. Ow. Sorry. There's a huge red marring in the center of your, her forehead. A bump is starting to form as well. Man, it's going to swell up. Uh, I should find you some ice. Right in. What do you even find ice around at this time? Uh, I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine just you with look. I'm fine with just looking like a unicorn. Even rinse it from the pants or it makes a silly joke. Oh god. <laughs> what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Pat Sorry on the shoulder and run out into the hallway. I look at the nearest vending machine. What should I get? I guess it doesn't really matter since it's used as an ice pack rather than a rather than Jing. But I know Sari likes apple juice, so I press that one. In just a moment, I already returned to the classroom where I left Sari. She has one palm on her forehead and the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. At least, they're, at least they were already in the wrong spots before I spilled them. Sari here. I hand Sari a bottle of apple juice. Nice and cold. Oh, now you have apple juice on your forehead. Ah, that's nice. It's already, it looks like it's already half drank apple juice that we got from a vending machine, but that's fine. Opens, oh wait, 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 oh god. I think it said she opened the cap and drank some, that might have been it. What are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot. Ah, sorry, I forgot. Ah, uh, as you hit your head, piss the bottle against the bump of her head. Stinks. Just bear with it. You'll feel better soon. Look, it cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey, Brian. It kind of reminds me of growing up, doesn't it? What does that mean? We used to play outside all the time. I would try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like, I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing up on things you did. Sometimes I tried to do things I couldn't, and I would get hurt myself. I'd fall in a scrape or get a bump. He would start crying really hard. And I would start crying really hard. Yeah, I wouldn't cry. You, you would cry. <laughs> ah ha ha. You rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It was almost like you blamed yourself. Or you were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it wasn't your fault at all, you know. But. Did I really do that? Yeah. Do you remember? I'm thinking maybe I do remember a bit. But I guess it was so focused on my games I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way it was my fault. God, like this time too. But I wasn't rushing you out of the closet. You probably would have hit your head. Ah, Brendan, I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all those years. You're rushing to help me, even though I'm just being clumsy. You're a real sweetheart. Uh, don't call me that. Psh. I don't really need this kind of thing all the time. Let's just get the poster paper. God. <laughs> I guess when it comes to you, I just feel natural before I even know it. I'm treating you like that. Guess what happens when you've been friends for so long? Really? Yeah, you've been in the friend zone for like your whole life. Get. Hey, we're right, Brendan. I'm so glad nothing has changed between us. By the way, if my voice sounds different, it's because this is the day after Halloween where we're screaming even more, man. Screaming for five days straight at customers. Never mind. Uh, do you like... I think it'll be like this forever. Forever. I am... If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where I end up for college or after that. So I want to be fair for me to make any promises. But, well, I hope so. It's been so long already, right? I can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. Has Sorry, has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep thought like this, makes me want not want to disturb her. I guess we should go get back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know. Good luck with that. She's going to see her forehead either way. Not if I hide it under my bangs. <laughs>